who could have foreseen just a few years ago how totally immersed our whole society would become in digital technology? And for our kids, they've known no other world except the one where screens, phones and gadgets are everywhere. When I was a kid, drones were just male bees and a hard drive was a long road trip. But now it's the water they swim in and they can barely understand why we as parents would have some concerns about it. Here's something that's obvious but really helpful to think about. Technology and video games make our kids feel good. And because they make them feel so good, our kids can feel really low when they're disconnected. And you're a parent, you know this better than anybody. It's a bit like, you know, imagine one day you wake up, you go to your favourite cafe, you get yourself a flat white, you're sitting there enjoying your coffee, absorbed in the moment, when suddenly... Sorry, but you've had enough of that now. Let's face it, you're going to feel a little bit grumpy, and although you might not throw a tantrum, you'll probably have one on the inside. Now, most kids aren't drinking coffee, hopefully, but lots are playing video games. So put yourself in your child's shoes. You're immersed in your favourite video game, you're feeling good, you're conquering new lands, smashing the bad guys, and getting ever closer to the next level. And then, on the edge of your consciousness, you become aware of a voice. Dinner will be ready in 15 minutes. And then, in a few minutes later, you dimly hear the same voice. Turn it off now and come to the table. But you can't just pause the game. You're only 100 points away from defeating Zangle the Great and completing the level. You barely have time to register what you've just heard. Then, all of a sudden... What did you do? What did you do? Did you do I told you three times to turn it off. Why would you do that? I can't believe... You have no idea what you've done. No idea! Let's pause. In one instant, all those feel-good hormones and neurotransmitters that were firing on all cylinders have now been abruptly brought to a halt. And that feels terrible. It may seem small to us, but for them, they've been plunged into withdrawal. And as their parents, we can help them handle those big feelings, because if it's not video games, there'll always be disappointment in life that we have to learn to deal with. So next time this happens to you, you might want to say something like, I know you were enjoying yourself, and I know that stopping is disappointing, but you always have tomorrow to play again. This is going to happen again and again, so I'm expecting you to get better at handling this. When you have calmed down, we can have a talk about when you can play video games and when it's the right time to stop. This may feel like a fight, and at times a fight you might be losing, but hang in there. Helping them learn to handle their big emotions around technology will also help them manage disappointment in all aspects of life, and it will give them the emotional skills they need to navigate their digital lives. Now, go and enjoy that coffee.